Our next guest is comedian Josh Need. He's the headliner at McCurdy's Comedy Theater through May 29th, and he titled his last comedy album Unsung Hero. So, of course, we're dying to ask, why are you an unsung hero? Well, we're not skeptical. I don't, know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I, I probably should have prepared the, a picture of the album so you could have seen the joke behind why I call myself the unsung hero, but... The, the photo on the front is a real picture from um, when my son was born. And uh, basically what happened was my wife had a C-section and she was in the bed for three straight days and, and she said, I just want to sit in a normal chair for a few minutes. So she handed me the baby. I let her sit in the chair. My mother-in-law was in the other chair. So I sat down on the bed and I thought, how funny would it be if a nurse walked in right now <laughs> And here's my wife sitting in a chair. I'm laying in the bed <laughs> holding the baby. So the photo is me laying in the bed. My wife's giving me a drink of water. I'm holding the baby <laughs> like I did all the work. That's and, then, and then from that, I wrote a bunch of material, you know, sarcastically calling myself the unsung hero of the whole process when, of course, she did all the work. But that's where the name came from. She How old is the baby? He will be five in July. And you're still laughing. I am still laughing. And I have a daughter coming uh, two weeks from yesterday. Oh, Are you having her? I am. I am. Don't I look great? You do. I'm not even showing yet. Uh, but uh, no, I'm, I'm very excited uh, about the, the baby girl. We just had a huge garage sale to get rid of all the boy stuff that we kept just in case, um, which is a nightmare. Like, I don't know if you've had garage sales or not, but they are the worst thing ever. What didn't you like? I had people, pretty much. I hate people. Because <laughs> uh, right. it's like, because last time we had one, Nobody we did came? it. No, everyone comes, <laughs> and they're just, you know, you get guy who asks about things that he knows isn't for sale, you know, <laughs> yeah. like, hey, how much for this freezer full of steaks? And I'm like, sir, you're letting all the cold air out. Could you please close the door? <laughs> I, I had a bungee cord wrapped around that for a reason, you know, and he like, <laughs> takes a ribeye out of his coat pocket and puts it back in. And then, and then you get guy who just watched an American Pickers marathon and thinks he's an expert in antiques, you know, so <laughs> he walks right up. Hey, you got any antiques? I'm like, sir, I'm 35. I don't know why you would think <laughs> this is the place to come you know, look for antiques. You know, I don't know what he expected me to do, just like pull some sheet down and be like, oh, this is a 14th century armoire that has been in my family for generations, but I can't get it into the house. So, you know, <laughs> make me an offer. Size two baby outfit. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Here's one. <laughs> and the hagglers, like I hate the hagglers, you know, he's like, like I'm, this guy's staring at a toaster and I try to give him a little backstory, you know. I'm like, oh, we got married last year. We don't need two toasters, so we're selling this one and it's a dollar. And he was like, he just starts staring at it for like half an hour. Like, oh, buddy, I, I mean, what is that, a sunbeam? I mean, it's all right, you know. It ain't like an Oster or a Hamilton Beach or a KitchenAid, you know. And I'm like, dude, it's a dollar. And, you know, he's like, I would probably go 25 cents. And I'm like, I'll beat it over your face for free. I mean, if that'll make you feel better. But the good news is I just found out before I came on that I'm actually booked at the comedy club in the Olympic Village in uh, oh, July. Oh. So I'm going to have a real good summer. Yes, you are. Uh, and summer. you won't have to have any more children. You'll be well protected. Right. Yeah. Right. All right, well, Josh Need is at McCurdy's Comedy Theater through May 29th. For tickets and info, you can visit McCurdy'sComedy.com.